I recently decided to add voiceover to my videos to allow for more in-depth explanations and make the videos easier to watch. This is the perfect opportunity to create a talking chicken. The first step is to turn the static image into something that can be animated. To do this, I cut the image into four different parts. Now, let's do some testing to ensure that everything is working fine. It's really rare that the first try is a good one. Ok, much better. Now, we need to extract information from the sound file to control the beak and the tongue. We could use some fancy frequency analysis tools for this, but to keep things simple, I will only use the amplitude as input. This is what we get when sampling at 60Hz. Because the frequencies found in the sound are much higher than this, we have a lot of aliasing in the resulting curve. A simple solution to fix this issue is to average the values around the sampling point. By doing this, we aggregate more information at once. This filtering results in much smoother curves that can now be used to control the beak and the tongue movements. This is the resulting animation. It is quite good. The synchronization between the beak and the sound is ok. However, it's still a bit rigid. I would like to add life to it by adding some physics to the... Um, to the... Uh, to the waters. First, I have to modify the image to be able to animate the wattles separately. Then, I have to attach two points to the beak and the head to drive the movements. These points will be the interface between the animation and the physics simulation. I'll use the easy and robust Verli integration for the dynamics. Now that I have the points, all I have to do is to connect them using springs and, hopefully, it will look like a good soft body simulation. Ok, it looks fine. It's not a perfect water simulator, but it will do the trick. The last step is to attach the texture to the points. This is the final result. We have a nice talking chicken with physically based wattles. I hope you enjoyed this video and this kind of contents with voiceover. It's the first time I do this, so I'm sorry for all the technical issues. Thank you very much for watching and for all your support.